pieces of correspondence that uh, we have received. Most of those opinions have been expressed. <coughs> and um, I guess we've heard on the, the mobile mini home issue several times here this evening. Also some issues relating to the pitch of rules uh, and a fair bit about the density issue. Um, what do we, what do, is there any information you want from staff, any direction you want to give to staff, or are you prepared to move on to the decision making process? <coughs> I mean, I'm not entirely clear on the mini home issue. You know, I think we should look at that. Yeah. I've had a lot of comments on the mini home issue, and uh, in 204, it was almost a done deal with the 1651 and 1652 that minis and mobiles wouldn't be allowed in the inner architectural zone. Yeah. I think it would be very wise of this council to explore that and perhaps put an end to that debate um, sooner rather than later. I, I almost see it as a separate issue to, outside of the Highway 3 streetscape plan. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as the plan goes, I've sat in on a lot of meetings uh, and we did engage the public, we had meetings here, we had spreadsheets, we took all that material and we hashed it over for the last year and a half. And uh, I think we came up with a fairly good plan which took a lot of uh, people's ideas and put it down on paper. Um, but even so, I'd like to, at this point, I don't really want to make a decision until I find out how we can eliminate the mini home, mobile home section of that make that a separate issue or however we're going to go and get our heads around that one, I don't know. But uh, I've had lots of calls and people really don't want many homes in the village of Chester at this point. And so I'd like to debate that again with council at some point. Well, I think we need to give staff some direction. I mean, if, if we want a proposal uh, as to how to deal with the mobile mini home issue, then we need to tell them that that's what we want is a redraft that addresses that particular concern for <coughs> Thursday or something. Well, Warden Weber, I think it's already there in 1651 and 1652, but it just never got from policy to be in bylaw. Yeah. So I think that's it's already there, really. I think most people would be happy with that. I don't think we have to reinvent the wheel. Public part's gone. No Sorry. Question. For clarification. I'll break this second though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, we may well be taking this back to cancel on next th this Thursday coming. So. But I mean, because of the amount of public participation in 204, you know, that's the reason these this policy exists. <coughs> and I think that yeah. clearly that it's the problem or the issue still exists. Yeah. And I think it's time that we deal with it, put it to rest. 